A 120-ton road header grinds through favorable ground in the early stages of construction on the Devil Slide Tunnel for the California Department of Transportation, or Caltrans. Excavation on the Highway 1 project south of San Francisco began November 2007 from the south portals. The twin tubes, roughly 1,280 meters long, each with one lane of traffic, a wide shoulder, and 10 cross passages, will travel through San Pedro Mountain. They will connect with twin bridges spanning a canyon to meet up with the existing highway north of a slip zone. Designer ILF and Caltrans specified the sequential excavation method, or NATUM, with sections of drill and blast through harder rock. According to Caltrans project manager Skip Sacco, NATUM offers the flexibility to use more or less support along the alignment. You have the option of adding or subtracting features as you move forward, so you can basically deal with any ground conditions you encounter. Four months into excavation, contractor Kiwit Pacific is roughly 220 meters into the top heading in the northbound tube and 160 meters in the southbound tube. It will excavate the bench concurrently at a minimum 40 meters behind. URS and the Dr. Sawa Corporation joint venture holds the construction management contract for Caltrans. So we're on the top heading here now. We're right? in the top heading exactly. So the bench, bench inward level is about another two and a half meters, three meters down. The contract program for excavation is based on four meters per day. Three eight-hour shifts of 15 workers are currently averaging three meters a day. Kibit, I think, is still in their learning curve at the moment. Essentially, they have all the right components. They have good personnel. They have uh, good equipment. Although they are encountering some difficulties in terms of reacting to the changing ground conditions. Uh, and that uh, slows them down a little bit. An elaborate ventilation system is designed for a potentially gassy tunnel. Special conditions require outside jet fans be reversible to push or pull airflow through the tunnel. So we see the monitoring targets up here. 3D optical targets continuously measure ground movement for daily interpretation, while two trucks dump muck in a dedicated disposal area on the construction site. The final lining consists of a drained waterproofing system and a 350 millimeter cast in place concrete lining with two layers of rebar reinforcement. Thank you. All right. Good luck. In November 2006, two bids for the construction contract came into Caltrans State Headquarters moments before the deadline. Bids are closed. And within minutes were read in a public bid opening. This is our second and last bid on this project. With its $273 million bid, Kiwit Pacific of Omaha, Nebraska won the contract, beating the only other bid by $49 million. Well, we've had great luck with Kiwit. They've done a lot of other uh, work around the state for us. Uh, uh, we think they're up to this task, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to working with them to finish it. When complete in 2010, the Devil Slide Tunnel will bypass a section of Highway 1 plagued by landslides and grade subsistence that have closed this coastal road for months at a time.